Session 281 Chapter 2 Verse 255 A Continuation Allah, there is no God but Him, the ever-living, the ever-watchful. Neither drowsiness nor sleep overtakes Him. All that is in the heavens and in the earth belongs to Him. Who is there that can intercede with Him except by His leave? He knows what is before them and what is behind them, but they do not comprehend any of His knowledge except what He wills. His seat encompasses the heavens and the earth. It does not weary Him to preserve them both. He is the Most High, the Tremendous. Chapter 2, verse 255. This marvelous verse in the Noble Qur'an is known for its high value and blessings. The verse of the seat, or Ayatul Kursi, is mentioned in many narrations of our beloved Prophet Muhammad. He said, Within the cow, Surat al-Baqarah, is a verse. This verse is the pinnacle of the Qur'an. Whoever reads it in his or her house builds a shield between his or her family and the devil. Imam Ali heard the Prophet say, Whoever reads Ayatul Kursi before sleep will be blessed by God's protection. So will his family and his neighbors. Lastly, Abu Munthir, one of the Prophet's close companions, narrated, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, asked me, O Abu Munthir, do you know which verse of God's book holds tremendous value? I replied, Allah and his messenger know best. Prophet Muhammad repeated the question, O Abu Munthir, do you know which verse of God's book holds tremendous value? I answered, Allah, there is no God but Him, the ever-living, the ever-watchful. Neither drowsiness nor sleep overtakes Him. The Messenger of God then patted my chest and said, May Allah bless your knowledge and grant you more. Scholars have pored over this verse to unlock its secrets. Some attributed the verse's blessings to its name. It is the verse of the seat, the seat of absolute power, the seat of lordship, the seat of grand majesty. God is the one. There is no God but Him, the ever-living, the ever-watchful. Neither drowsiness nor sleep overtakes Him. He has full knowledge of the heavens and the earth and he is beholden to no one. Who is there that can intercede with him except by his leave? Other scholars attributed the value of the verse to the number of times the Almighty was referenced in it. We find 16 mentions of the divine in this single verse. Let's count together. Allah, mentioned at the very beginning, is the ultimate name of the divine. Second, we find the reference him in the phrase there is no God but Him. Third, He is the ever-living. Then, the ever-watchful. Fifth, we read the reference Him in neither drowsiness nor sleep overtakes Him. Again, the reference Him in all that is in the heavens and in the earth belongs to Him. Seventh and eighth, who is there that can intercede with Him except by His leave? Ninth, tenth, and eleventh in the following. He knows what is before them and what is behind them, but they do not comprehend any of his knowledge except what he wills. Another reference to the divine in the following phrase, his seat encompasses the heavens and the earth, and we are up to twelve. The thirteenth is mentioned here. It does not weary him to preserve them both. In the phrase, he is the most high, the tremendous, the pronoun he is the fourteenth mention, while the most high, the tremendous, complete the fifteenth and the sixteenth. Some scholars pointed to the verb to preserve them both as another reference to God, making the total seventeen. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, Nothing stands between the person who recites Ayatul Kursi after each prayer and paradise except death. Allah, there is no God but Him, the ever-living, the ever-watchful. Neither drowsiness nor sleep overtakes Him. All that is in the heavens and in the earth belongs to Him. 
Who is there that can intercede with him except by his leave? He knows what is before them and what is behind them, but they do not comprehend any of his knowledge except what he wills. His seat encompasses the heavens and the earth. It does not weary him to preserve them both. He is the Most High, the Tremendous. Chapter 2, verse 255. The prophet, peace be upon him, said, Convey my teachings to the people, even if it is only a single verse. Please take a moment to subscribe and to share with your family and friends. Visit us at www.qurangarden.com.